pasture, most likely. So we've got a uh, healthy load today. No slot. Stand 403 Lima. Uh, two wheelchair passengers. We've checked at our top of climb temperatures. We've uh, checked our altitude capability. And that's at flight level 320. Command into Newark, we should be getting there. I think it's at 2150. So the uh, range for our weather coming in there, 248, six statute miles, a few 25,000 feet. So it's um, good. Keflavik, a little bit of rain there, but other than that, temperature down to three degrees. It will remain above uh, freezing for the time of the wearing. We're, we're going to be there. Um, Goose Bay, that's the only one that has maybe just a chance of a little bit of snow. So the charge of snow forecast through there. We've arrived out to the cockpit now. We're in the Airbus 321 Neo long range. A beautiful aircraft to fly and we're just about to set ourselves up now for our departure for Newark. Let's start with the APU fire test. All the lights and noises, master caution and checked here. Engine fire test coming up on one. This tech log is for us, LRB. It is ETOPS Amor Cat 3 Joe. There's nothing outstanding in the DDRs at all, which is great. So the flight planners can automatically send the, the flight plan in to Timbuktu. We ask, send off a request for the flight plan. It uploads the, um, the flight from the planners that they've sent into ATC directly onto the MACDU. So that the idea behind that is it's to simplify the cockpit setup, but also it's to try uh, as best I can to mitigate any errors that in that may come in through um, transcription errors or something like that. If we get the wrong waypoint, nonetheless, we will verify what we've uplinked is what we've planned just as a as a second check. But it is a it's a really efficient way of getting the flight plan into the into the aircraft. Hi all, thank you for joining us on this uh, return flight from Dublin, Ireland, to Newark International and back again with Aer, Aer Lingus A321 Neo Long Range. The flight out from Dublin today was uh, it will take us 7 hours and 20 minutes. The weather is good both in Dublin and a little bit cloudy in Newark, a little bit overcast, but hopefully you get some good views on the way in. Captain for the flight is Claude O'Farrell, she'll be pilot flying, she'll be flying you into Newark and hopefully landing on runway 22 that you'll see some of the views from Manhattan on the, the left hand side as you make our approach in. I hope you enjoy the flight. Shamak 10 Mike, Grand, good afternoon. KNH 1001, your portion start approved, to leash point Juliet. Uh, release brakes, please. We will start to push the Julia. Thank you. Thank you. Brakes released. What a beautiful day. Ground to flight. You are clear for engine one or two. Start when you're ready. Thanks a million. Starting engine one. Yeah, clear for one. Go ahead. You notice that the, the engines take quite some time to light up, so we're into sort of a stabilised um, stabilized start at the minute. The ETT is just adjusting across the core when it's within a stabilized set of parameters. The fuel flow will begin and the engine will start a cycle, uh, start a sequence. So there's a fuel flow going in, ignition, and then light up. It varies depending on a number of different um, external parameters, how long that uh, sort of stabilised windmill lasts for. Shamrock 1 0 Mike, taxi ride Fox 2, Fox 3, hold shuttling 4. Fox 2 and 3, hold shuttling 4, Shamrock 1 0 Mike. So, Chloe, that's pretty much as you expect, a straight ahead Fox 2. Uh, Shamrock 6 Nano Lima, Fox, Fox 2 and Fox 3, so straight ahead, second right. Good afternoon. Your push and start approved. Lease point Fox at can I Thanks, Louis. You have uh, full up, full down, neutral. Full left, full right, neutral. And a rudder. Thank you. Full left, right, neutral. Despite the fact we went for the wet figures because the surface was wet and completely dry now. Yeah, sure. So temperatures. Figures are in the box. Yes, very much. Done. Shamrock, wind there, Mike. You have the two minutes now. Wind 314, normally 28 right. Clear take off. Clear take off to it right. Shamrock, one there, Mike. Thank you. All set. Let's go. Great. 
stabilized. Thanks. Matlex 31, SRS, all the thrust blue. Checked, thrust that. V1, rotate. Pause the climb. Gear up, please. Gear up. Nav. Checked. One two one, one one, November five five, turn up to the Thank you. I double today, Shamrock one is zero, Mike two thousand eight hundred nine two zero for departure. Shamrock one zero, Mike today, you're identified. Climb now, flight level one two zero, no level restriction on departure. Thank you. Climb flight level one two zero, no restriction. Shamrock one zero, Mike. Of light uh, intermediate moderate trophy at 3 1. Camera 1 0 Mike, we've had turbulent supports at all flight levels over the land of Ireland out to 15 west. Out to 15, okay, that's copy, thank you, 1 0 Mike. Thank you. Okay, direct to Pickle with the beams. Checked. So, we have a second message in there, Chloe. Great. And the message says confirm the assigned route. So the assigned route is destination of Newark and the waypoints are 5720 November, Check. 5830 November, 5740 November, Check. 5550 November, yep. Lomsey, mm -hmm. November 518 Alpha to Taffy, K John, the Hanna transition to Flossie. Perfect. Uh, the engines are drawing the fuel directly from the wing tanks and then the centre tank is uh, siphoning the fuel in as required either way and when it reaches a particular level the, the a ACT which you spoke about earlier on gets um, drawn into the centre tank and that fuel then is used into the wings for the engines. You can see now since we've left up and we've used all of the fuel in the aft ACT we're about midway through the second one and then once that is exhausted, we'll just continue with the fuel that we have on board in the conventional fuel tanks on board the aircraft uh, as normal. So if I just type it in, uh, would you like to climb to 330? Yeah. So flight level 330, I'll transfer this to the DCDU. And our request now is to climb to 330. Check. Send. Send. Okay, so that message now has gone up to the uh, satellite and then onwards to... Um, the controllers. It'll take a little while for that to come. They'll receive the message, they'll give us an, an acknowledgement that they've received the message, but we won't necessarily get an answer for maybe three or four minutes. Great. And let's see what they can do. There is traffic ahead, but the next one in line is about seven, eight miles ahead, plus 4,000 feet, so. Okay. Fingers crossed. Better for our fuel burn, too. Okay, it, it will, yeah. ATC message. ATC and it's just a standby. Close. So it's lovely. Okay. So they've received that. So you think we'll get um, possibility of a climb? That'd be great. And you believe we won't? <laughs> uh, it's climb to reach flight level 320 by 58 north 30 west. Report maintaining 320. Wilco? Wilco. Send? Send. Okay. Makes entire sense. So we pushed back from Terminal 2 here. And when we went to taxi out then, there was a company aircraft here. So we went straight ahead link two and we turned right onto Fox three to hold short link four. And then the taxiway splits Fox inner and Fox outer. And they're just paralleling one, six, three, four. We went up Fox outer and continued as far as November. This is sort of danger area for us because uh, you could actually access the active runway, which obviously is to be avoided at all costs. We then turned right onto November and we'd already advised ATC that we would be requiring a full length departure today. And uh, we got our clearance to line up here. Unusually, because normally with the runway, you'd line up right at uh, the beginning of the runway, but this is the entry point to the runway. And we taxied down here and departed to the west. We had a headwind, so it was just a, a standard 
takeoff technique for us. Then the departure we took took us up in a northwesterly direction. Dublin Mountains are the only really area of terrain where we're operating in and they have a little higher MSA of 4,000 feet, but in the sector we were operating in, it was 2,400 feet. Due to the local housing and that, there's very defined maneuvering limits during our departure, so we're strict to follow the tracks and speeds uh, to comply with our restrictions. So this is the routing it took. Just this black line here, we followed it out to Delta Whiskey 128, 129, and then we headed off. And when we were about here, we got a direct routing in the direction of our oceanic entry point. Yeah, you were teasing me that I've been on the Airbus since, what, 1999? Flown these since 1999, yeah, so... since the last century. The last century, with the brief interlude on 330s. <laughs> uh, they were great. The, they were um, great. We used to fly together on the 330 regularly. Yeah. As co-pilots. I remember that. Uh, we did that on the long, the the augmented crew once. Yeah. When you're flying to LA. Or where else did we go? Actually, we didn't go anywhere else no. in those days. It was just LA. There was San Fran later on. Yeah, but we were we were off I was that back at that stage. Yeah. Yeah. So when we both started back after the the initial training, you were on the 146. Yeah. Iron steam dial. That was all proper. Um, Iron Dial aircraft, and I was on the 737. About a year and a half, mm -hmm. each of us on those. Then I moved on to the, the 330, sorry, 320, 320 yeah. CEOs, and you moved on to the 330. Yeah. Then I followed you on to the 330. Yeah, so flying these since the last century. We've flown together on this, maybe on one one occasion, on, on doubles, I think. And then yeah. this is the second time in 20, 25 years. Wow. But the reason for that is um, we are on the Airbus 320 fleet, so 320, 321 in Aer Lingus, it's We're very lucky we have a fixed pattern, fixed roster pattern. So you'll do five days on, five days on duty, five days work, followed by three days off. And that's a repetitive pattern, five days on, three days off, five Which days on, three days off. Which is fabulous because you can predict ahead and plan the odd. Two years ahead. If you're, if you're clever enough to set your calendar up, you can do it okay. to, for as long as you want to be on these Airbus, like me from the last century. But we, being married, we have one extra thing as well in that we have uh, both take a part-time day, so our roster is even better than that in that it's four days work and four days off. And we both have that each. So that means that we can intermingle the work and home life really, really easily. And with both of us being um, captains on, on this aircraft, it means that we have no issues at all at home with childcare. So we have three kids at home. They're, one of us are always at home, and whereas the other person will always be... Uh, in work. In fact, people would always think with our job that we spend so much time away from home. But the reality is there's always one of us at home, which is fantastic for our kids, you know. It's just to be clear, we are married. <laughs> you may, I don't think we've formally said that at any time. So we are husband and wife flying together. Um, yeah, joined at the same time and we progressed up through uh, the company uh, in tandem with each other since we started in the uh, the end of the um, the last century, <laughs> in, in 1998, 99. Boston on our left-hand side. From there, overhead, Albany and onwards then to Newark and we'll have a lovely view on our way in on our left hand side we'll be able to see Manhattan as uh, we make our descent and our approach into Newark Newark, good day, Shamrock 10 Mike, we're 7,000 feet at Crank Shamrock 10 Mike, New York Alpha current, ILS 22 left, South 7 or 3010 301022 left, Shamrock 10 Mike Shamrock 10 Mike, we to maintain 5,000 so the 10, 5,000 feet, travel 10 miles. So we're within 25 miles of Teterboro. That means our MSA is 2,900 feet. Shamrock 10 mic, increase rate of descent. So go, Shamrock 10 mic. Yes, 1,000. 1,000. Shamrock 10 Mike, contact approach 12015. 12015, Shamrock 10 Mike, good day. 
Approach today, some of 70, Mike, approach 5,000, heading 160. Approach today, some of 10, Mike, 5,000, heading 160. Camrock 10, Mike, your approach, hello, New York, 7, News 3009. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, Mike, Mike, maintain 4,000, then to send a main, correction, send and maintain 4,000, then reduce speed to 210. United 620, send and maintain 3,000, then reduce speed to 170. All right, continue our descent to 3,000, further reduce 179, 1060. Okay, 10, Mike, 10, Mike, 6 miles from Gimme, maintain 3,000 until established in local logic, cleared ILS, from right 2 to left approach. I want to maintain 3,000 feet until the service looks like we're clear on left to the left, Sean Mark, one turn right. Look at all of those bridges for that visual approach we were looking at. Yeah. Sean yeah, Mark, 10 Mike, you can maintain 2,500 until established now, 170 knots, 2 buzz, contact your tower, 118.3. 2,500 feet until established and uh, 118 decimal 3, thank you Sean Mark, one turn right, good day. Good day. 2,500 blue, I see. Check, there's two to bro. Just to right at this key, uh, clear for takeoff, we got 3717. United 1834, no retire, runway 22 right at Whiskey, line up and wait. 22 right at Whiskey, line up and wait, United 1834. Flight slope blue, Cat 3 Jewel, autopilot 1 and 2. Checked. Target 8, Mark 10, Mike, we're established on SP2 left. Mark 10, Mike, Newark Tower, 2608, runway 22 left, clear land. Clear land, 22 left, Mark 10, Mike. Clear land. Uh, when did he say he wanted the 172? Buzz dish. Okay. Two thousand five hundred. Checked. Right on time. Flight soap star. Three thousand white, go around altitude set. Now take the gear down. Gear. Down a lot. 163, flap 3. Speed check, flap 3. 3 blue. He's on the roll. Okay. Stabilize. The autopilot's off. Autopilot off. Auto thrust remaining in. Checked. Power stabilized. Flock of birds, but they're clear. Okay, thanks. Land. Checked. Hundred above. Continue. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. 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 Spoilers. Reverse. Diesel. One hundred. Seventy. Auto brakes off. Manual brakes. Well, thank you for joining us on our flight from Dublin to Newark today. As you saw on the approach there, we landed on the southerly runway 22 left, a simple ILS approach with beautiful views of Manhattan out on our left-hand side. Uh, we loved having you with us, and we look forward to seeing you for our return flight tomorrow evening. So thanks once again for joining us on, on that flight. You'll see the opposite flight hopefully tomorrow in the dark when we leave here, um, possibly on the same uh, orientation over Manhattan back into Ireland, and we'll talk you through the flight then. We'll see you then. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. For those who are traveling on airline display EL 100 non stop service Dublin, Ireland. If you have checked in the online record below in mobile boarding class only, please come to gate 56 for passport verification. Once again, if you have only included in mobile boarding class. Okay.
Okay, so we are at our Aer Lingus Airbus A321neo long range aircraft, just ready to do the walk around. Uh, it's a procedure we complete before every flight. So uh, we begin here at the front of the aircraft. We have our static ports, we have our angle of attack, we have a heater to check and also the total air temperature probe and everything is closed latched we're checking our probes continue down to the nose wheel area and we're checking the condition of the tires our nice LED lights which are a feature of the Neo beautiful engines they look so different to the CO engine and we check that everything looks normal, there's no leaks. And then we continue to inspect the wing of the aircraft. Now welcome aboard our flight again uh, from Newark to Dublin. I'll be pilot flying this evening. We have a flight time of uh, just under six hours, 15 minutes. And usually uh, this evening, we are not on the organized track system. We're on a random route. Um, the track system show is showing um, some turbulence on that. So and we're actually taking a great circle route from uh, Newark to Dublin. The um, weather on route looks pretty good. Dublin weather is forecast to be nice, some showers for our arrival. Uh, maybe a little bit breezy from the southeast. So, runway in use at the minute, we're planning on runway 10, but it could possibly be the western facing runway as well. We'll let you know as we come along the way. So, hope you enjoy the flight. V1, rotate. Checked. Here, please. Here. Oh. Checked. New York departure. Good evening. It's Tramark 1, Tango Charlie at a 1500 feet. Tramark 1, Tango Charlie, New York departure. Radar can't thank. Climb and maintain 4000. Climb and maintain 4000. Tramark 1, Tango Charlie. Trust climb. climb. Tramark 1, Tango Charlie. Tramark 1, setting 020. Left head 020. Tramark 1, Tango Charlie. So left turn and... Uh, Open climb. Clear wing 727, come maintain 5000, traffic 5 northeast, southbound at 6. Heading 040. Checked, approaching 2 to go. Checked, yes. Heading 040. Speed PS, 1600. Checked. Clear 727, the traffic's no factor, come maintain 8000. And uh, it says landing gear. Is up. Flex. Tractor. Packs. On. APU. Off. And the power rep. Fuel to set. After takeoff, check complete. Checked. 1 to go. 1 checked. Was it 1204 he said? 1204, I have it up there, yep. We still have our. Endeavour 5001, turn left heading 320. With a 320 there, 5001. American 1187, departure 120.85, good day. Looks good. That's uh, 120.85 for American 1187, good day, sir. This, this evening, our route, as I said earlier on, is going to be a great circle line, so we have more or less a direct line between uh, Newark and Dublin. We have some very strong jets to the south of us. Just a little bit further on, we have a depiction of the organized track system and our own routing. Here. So the tracks all begin very close into New York. In fact, they would be with these, would, I believe, would be within the New York OCA. There's a few quite far to the south. So the planners run through a number of different flight sequences for the route on the evening, depending on the time we go at. And actually, despite there being some stronger jets down to the south of us, I think the distance there would bring us too far off um, the overall Great Circle route. So it is more beneficial for us to fly this evening's flight outside the organized track system. It's still within the NAT HLA. It's just a completely random route. Other operators would use it going on unusual routes, from, for example, from New York to uh, long range Singapore or to the, uh, to the Middle East and things like that. 100 above. Continue. Minimum. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard, 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 retard. Spoilers. Reverse green. 
Brake medium. Auto brake. Manual oh. brakes. Manual brakes. Seventy knots. First cancel. I got the easier leg. <laughs> so we're on the red and white centre line. All the way down. And end. we'll be on Excellent. the solid red and then we cross over the runway stop. is set. So good morning. It looks like the middle of the night still. Um, it's sort of in between 20 to 5. We've just landed back in Dublin about 30 minutes ahead of schedule after a smooth uneventful flight. We hope you enjoyed flying with us and we look forward to seeing you again on board soon. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much for joining us. It was a pleasure to have you on board. We. Uh, had a great time showing you around some of the features of the aircraft and the route as well, the journey we took. Um, we hope to see you again on one of our flights sometime soon. Thank you.